what is the ideal relationship a tech company can have with the community. And I would often say Twitter's the best example. They were very special partners. It makes the loss of it that much harder. I'm Abby Leonard. I'm the Director of Development and Communications at Compass Family Services. We support homeless families in San Francisco and support them in getting to stability. Compass had a partnership program with Twitter called the Twitter Neighbor Nest. It was this amazing technology center. We had a wonderful computer lab. We offered groups and classes there. Twitter paid for our staffing for that program. It closed because of the pandemic. We had just secured a, an agreement for reopening the space. We had hired a manager. We were about to get the keys and then uh, the Elon Musk takeover of Twitter took place and unfortunately that whole plan evaporated. My name is Sean Tai. I'm the co-founder and executive director of BridgeGood. BridgeGood was founded to provide young folks of color, um, prepare them with the skills and resources required to get jobs in technology. In 2013, we actually had an event called Friday for Good, which quickly evolved into Twitter for Good. And the purpose of that was to three or four times a year have the employees participate with local nonprofits. And so from 2013 on, we've had a very robust relationship with Twitter, uh, everything from board membership to thought leadership, to monetary grants, to site visits to the headquarters where we'd bring anywhere from 20 to 40 students on site. We have one scheduled for November and we had planned that three months, four months in advance. We were excited. Our students were ready to go to the headquarters. And unfortunately, um, literally the same week we had the event, we we're supposed to have the event, they canceled. We got an email notifying, unfortunately due to the climate, it's not gonna happen. We have no contact with current Twitter staff members. We don't even know who that would be because really everyone we worked with is gone lay off the entire Twitter for Good team. That was devastating for us. Since the Nest has been closed, we've been having to figure out ways that we can still support families with technology needs. And we don't feel like we've been able to replace the asset that was the Nest, which was something very valuable for our families. Getting a job in tech, it's probably the most difficult things to get into. And so not having a partner like Twitter to learn about what skills are relevant to get a job in tech, it actually was heartbreaking. It was such a unique and uh, robust partnership that we had with Twitter and it, it's unlikely we're going to be able to find somebody to just replace something just like that. I think I'm in the mindset of how do we solve this challenge of getting Twitter back in the community in a way that's authentic and genuine. If Elon is this business guy, how do we convince him that helping community, having diverse voices, having diverse perspectives is actually good for business? In San Francisco, where Twitter is, it's a lot, there's a lot of suffering there. And, and so hopefully Elon can start there in, in the base, reconnect with the community, start a council, and, and hopefully uh, make it better than it was before. That's my, that's my hope.